Here we go again. The Purple Line Project in Maryland is ready to make a comeback. Here's all the bells and whistles. Hello everyone, Bill Wilson, Editor-in-Chief of Railway Track and Structures Media, with a look at the top news stories we were following the week ending August 26th. There have been a lot of hands trying to reach for California's $97 billion state surplus, and some will be slapped away. Officials are trying to land some of the bonus money to help build a 3.2-mile extension of a light rail line called the L-Line into San Bernardino County. The extension would originate in Los Angeles County. Currently, there is a nearly $750 million funding gap for the project, and there has been a scramble trying to get the needed money. State legislators tried to get some earmarked in the state budget, but that attempt failed. The extension will have to go up against other rail projects in a battle for remaining dollars. The Honolulu Authority for Rapid Transportation has announced the award of a contract for the relocation of utility infrastructure along Dillingham Boulevard to non-incorporated. The Dillingham utility relocations have long been identified as a critical component for the completion of the rail project. The contract is valued at just under $500 million and includes the relocation of utilities in the Kalihi Palama area. The physical construction is expected to begin in the first quarter of 2023 and be completed by the first quarter of 2026. Austin's Project Connect might be in for some revisions, which could be a project in and of itself. Officials were expected to provide an update on August 24th on possible changes thanks to rising costs. Back in July, it was determined that costs would continue on an upward trajectory. The original cost of Project Connect was $5.8 billion, but now the price tag sits at an estimated $10.3 billion, under 15% cost and design estimates. Officials said they were re-envisioning the project scope sequencing to help soften price increases. A host of alternatives have been looked at to restructure the project, including a more simplified underground tunnel track and elevated versus at-grade sections of track. After dominating the headlines for a long period of time due to trouble, Maryland's Purple Line light rail project is ready to change the landscape. The project is expected to kick into high gear shortly after Labor Day. Over the last few months, inspections and prep work have been ongoing, but major construction activity is expected to start in the coming weeks. Laborers International Union of North America Local 11 recently signed a collective bargaining agreement with Maryland Transit Solutions, which is the new contractor for Purple Line work. That's good news considering the history of the project. The previous contractor walked off the job due to contractual issues, and the hope is the new agreement will avoid any labor stoppages. The Purple Line is four years behind schedule and millions of dollars over budget. The finish line is now fall of 2026.